Whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. As I reflect on the years I have spent serving here as your bishop, I am more and more convinced of the truth in St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. Jesus must always remain as the very heart and soul of everything we do as Catholic Christians. I am filled with hope and joy in what this diocese has achieved through your generosity in serving God and neighbor. I am especially filled with gratitude for the presence and witness of the Hispanic community here in central Illinois. Their devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe, to the gospel of life, to ministry, everywhere they live and serve, is simply an immense gift. Another enormous cause for my gratitude is the ministry of Catholic education. People give of their time and talent and their resources to keep Catholic education alive and well. Our diocese really believes in the future, and Catholic schools are essential to the life and vitality of our church. Christ the teacher is, of course, the foundation of everything we try to achieve in primary schools, in secondary schools, and in our Newman centers. He is the teacher in our church. The scriptures clearly record that the Lord himself felt the need to be away by himself, to talk with his father, to pray with his disciples. I am so happy that our diocese this year has opened a new facility, the Sacre Coeur Retreat Center. Our new shepherd, Bishop Tilka, will inherit a debt-free facility that will build up the faith from the Mississippi River to the Indiana border, where all sorts of groups can have quality time with the Lord and with one another, to be comforted, to be challenged, to pray at a deeper level. I have honestly loved serving as the diocesan bishop here in Peoria. Your support, your goodwill, your humor have helped me in everything I've done. I know you will give even more of your heart and energy to Bishop Tilka as he begins his ministry as the ordinary of the Diocese of Peoria. I'm standing in the narthex of our beautiful Cathedral of St. Mary of the Immaculate Conception. And as I stand here, I'm aware of the legacy of my predecessor bishops for the Diocese of Peoria. As you can see behind me, their coats of arms are on the walls of our narthex. Each of these men dedicated themselves to the service of the Church of Peoria to help others come to know Jesus. And that is my commitment to you as well. I look forward to many years of service as Bishop of Peoria, and together we will go out and make disciples so that others may come to understand the powerful relationship of Jesus in their life. Your support for the annual Diocesan Appeal affirms our shared faith in Jesus living in our local church. From educating young children in our Catholic schools, providing religious education in our parishes, providing support to those who are most vulnerable, to doing the mundane tasks of running the diocese through the Curia. All of these things are done because of your generosity, and without them, they would become burdensome on the parishes. And so we are most grateful for your generous support of our annual diocesan appeal. I thank you for your support down through the years, and I am grateful for your support this year and in the future. Bishop Tilke and I are truly blessed ourselves to pray with you and for you and to bestow upon you the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.